Hi, my name is Brandon Sig, and I am the owner and founder of Gentry Martial Arts. My last name is not Gentry, although I do joke that if I ran for mayor, I would probably lose to my Gentry alias. Nor is there a Mr. Gentry out there that is associated. So there is, uh, our name is not plural, it is not possessive, it's not Gentry's. It is Gentry Martial Arts, but as I said, there is no Mr. Gentry. Although it is kind of handy when the telemarketers call. Mr. Gentry isn't here right now. If I ever accidentally use that line on you, I apologize. But this video is to explain a little bit more about how we came uh, about with that name and the history behind it and in doing so giving you a little bit more understanding about Gentry, who we are and our, our, our upbringing and, and, and what we stand for, things like that. Okay, So the calligraphy in our logo, which you see behind me and why I'm standing here, is are the characters for the Confucian term of Shun Tzu which can be translated a few different ways, but I'm going to go with a virtuous or model man. A person who is well-educated, refined and disciplined, uh, morally upright. He is a pillar of society and a major contributor to it. The uh, Korean term is kunja, and there are others that similar like sunbae or whatever, but again, we use kunja. So this is the type of person that I believe martial arts can help create. And admittedly, sometimes Confucian scholars were known to be a little pedantic, but I prefer to focus on kind of the more the, the warrior sage archetype as the model person. Now, during my East Asian language and culture classes and studies in college, I can remember sitting in one class in particular, and the professor was trying to explain this concept of Kunja or Shen Tzu, and he said perhaps the best analogy in the West was the gentry class. And at the time, I was struggling to come up with a name uh, for my martial arts school that was uh, significant enough that encapsulated what I thought was the power of the martial arts. And as soon as he said it, boom, that was it was it was a light bulb moment. It was my epiphany. From then on, I knew that the name was going to be Gentry Martial Arts. I am pretty sure I didn't listen to a single word he said the rest of the lecture. Now, the problem was that growing up, I didn't really know anybody with the surname of Gentry. In retrospect, there was probably that one secretary in high school, but uh, basically, again, I didn't know very many uh, people with the last name of Gentry. So it never occurred to me that this would be such a major point of confusion and that people would confuse the idea of being Gentry with the name of Gentry. So there you go. There you have it. Uh, that is the conflict. Now, Admittedly, the gentry class could become corrupt, uh, elitist, out of touch. Okay? And so uh, gentry, more literally in Korean, translates as yanbang. Now, the yanbang class in Korean was also subject to some of those, uh, those similar plights. And so if I'm not mistaken, there was actually a pretty popular Korean soap opera that kind of dealt with that type of intrigue and things like that. So... Um, when we translate the term uh, uh, gentry martial arts into Korean, I prefer kunjimudo instead of yanbang, just in case people kind of have a more negative connotation of yanbang based on kind of their idea of, of the term. And I prefer, of course, to live up to the ideal, the concept of gentry, uh, and not focus on kind of the adulteration that comes when flawed, corruptible human beings are involved. But the concept of gentry, of being a warrior scholar, of being a contributor to society and an inspiration to others is something that, that we strive for and we take very seriously as an organization and what we try to instill in our students. As I just mentioned, none of us are probably going to live up to that ideal, but we strive to better ourselves based on that model. And I wouldn't have founded Gentry Martial Arts if I, did, if I didn't think martial arts, if it didn't have that type of impact on my life and I didn't think it could help uh, offer life change to just about anybody. Now, even on small improvements, on a, on a much smaller scale, right? if kids learn just a little more respect, uh, a little more discipline while they're here, maybe they don't even get their black belts. Maybe they're only here just a couple of months. But in that time, if they learn some lessons, as I said, on discipline, focus, respect, goal setting, whatever it is, uh, then perhaps we've helped make the world just a little bit better place 
And and as I said, that is what kind of you know the idea of Shinzu is about. Now, uh, so now you know. I hope you I hope it explains a little bit more about why I'm standing up here. Uh, Gentry is, as I said, is not a person. It is an ideal, but one that I hope our students take seriously, that they embrace and they strive towards. And because it is at the center of what we do. Now, lastly, just as a little bit of a uh, verbal asterisk or end note to this video, uh, the calligraphy that we are that is in our logo is is actually the calligraphy of my very first quantum Grandmaster Young Sik Che, who I had the honor and pleasure of learning from for over thirty years. And I can remember coming up with my name, coming up with my logo. I was super excited to show him. And so I was expecting a big response. He was really going to be proud of this. And, and I expected, again, a good response. And he saw it and he kind of hemmed and hawed. And you could tell he was very politely not saying something that he wanted to say. So with some prodding, I was like, what is it? And finally he blurted out, it looks like Peter wrote it, who Peter at his time was his young son, right? So uh, clearly the calligraphy was not very good. He immediately grabbed a nice pen and wrote it out himself. Now, I am not an expert in Chinese calligraphy or handwriting, so I can't say for certain how good his is, but it most definitely is better than mine. And more importantly, now this logo has incredible sentimental value. It is very personally uh, important or valuable to me. And so we are sticking with it and I am honored to be able to use it.